Hey photographers, have a look at this. I'm going to pan across this shot of a tulip. Look carefully at how the pan starts. Now, I've spent a little time to make adjustments on the Manfrotto video head I'm using to make sure that the pan friction setting helps me make the move smoothly. I'll do it again. Particularly watch the start of the pan. It's as smooth and organic as a human operator can make it. Uh, now I'm going to turn the Fujifilm X-T4's digital stabilization on. The 16 to 55 lens I'm using doesn't have optical stabilization. Uh, the X-T4 has two menu settings for stabilization, mode and boost. I'm going to change the mode from off to optical plus digital. There's a slight crop. When I try the pan again, the start looks jumpy. It starts, pauses, and then jumps. Let me do it again. Now that is exactly what I expect, and it's why, in the best settings videos, I recommend you turn stabilization off when using a tripod. I appreciate that you may not be using a tripod, but the effect is about the same. As you start to pan, stabilization tries to hold the shot, but eventually it gives in to the motion. Sensor-induced stabilization is not designed to pan smoothly. Uh, some camera manufacturers know this and have a setting to enable panning. The xt 4 Stabilization Boost recommends that it be off if you are panning, and it was off for the scenes you've just seen. Well, let's turn it on and see what happens. In my observation, the jump seems slightly reduced. Is the setting incorrectly implemented? Is it doing the opposite of what's intended? And once you've seen this effect, it becomes more noticeable and objectionable like in these handheld scenes, where I'm moving the camera slightly, and as the move starts, there's that little jump as the camera catches up to the motion. <laughs> and while I accepted this as expected behavior on the X-T4, many of you did not. Fujifilm was clearly paying attention and sent their engineers and developers back to work. The results were in firmware 1.02, according to the release notes, improvement of stabilization function during movie shooting. And before I got around to getting some pre-upgrade footage and organizing this video, uh, Fujifilm released 1.03, which improves the auto exposure. So before I install version 103, let me show you how auto aperture reacts to lighting changes. There's clearly a step change as the aperture adjusts, but let's not just look at the monitor. Here's the actual recording. We'll switch to auto ISO and demonstrate how that responds. Less, but still a visible stepping as it adjusts. Here's the recording of that. Upgrade time. Uh, Fujifilm's app didn't cooperate with me this week, so I resorted to the old manual method. It takes a couple of minutes, and when the camera restarted, I confirmed that it was now running firmware 1.03. Uh, let's try the auto ISO again. And here's the recording. Uh, well, it's an improvement. Let's see if there's any change when using auto aperture. No, not so much. The video recording still looks stepped. Let's have a look at the stabilization. These handheld scenes seem to demonstrate that the effect has been eliminated. The camera seems settled, and that little jump when a pan starts is gone. So oh, let's go back to the studio and try the pan with the tool upon the tripod. Oh, th that's about the same. Hmm, not what I expected. 
maybe when the shot is as steady as it is on a tripod, the stabilizer isn't as engaged as when it's handheld. So my advice holds, turn off stabilization when using a tripod. I know that many of you feel that in-camera stabilization is a major factor in a camera decision. I don't. Between faster lenses, higher ISOs, tripods and gimbals, they're just one more capability in my toolkit. And for video, yes, there's some value, but for real stability, particularly when you're moving, you'll need a gimbal. That doesn't mean I'm not hoping for better in camera. As processing power continues to improve, the limitations that we accept today will be eroded and eventually removed. In my humble opinion, in-camera stabilization is of limited value, particularly for video. Yes, if you have a static handheld shot with a larger focal length, it will provide some benefit. However, if you're planning to move, for the moment anyway, the only way to get satisfaction is with a gimbal. Now, you can improve your skills with practice, go out, fill your memory cards and empty your batteries. If you have relevant questions or civil comments, I do enjoy interacting with you and will read and reply. I'd like to thank those of you who are subscribed to my channel. Your interest and support is greatly appreciated. And if you're not one of this select bunch, I'm keeping dues at pre-COVID levels and have suspended our in-person meetings. Thanks for watching.